All right, all right, I see you in the comments. A lot of you seem to think I love creative mode and that that's how I've been able to get all of this netherite. Even though if I had creative mode, I would probably give myself a little bit more. But don't worry, joke's on you. Today, I'm going to show you how you too can get as much netherite and more as I have. That's right, I'm going to show you exactly how to get the good stuff. Oh, sorry, I'm going to show you how to get the nether. Oh. I'm gonna show you how to get the netherite before it disappears. Let's do this. Before we get started, a large portion of my viewers are currently unsubscribed. So if you like what you see and you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing. It's completely free and you'll even be notified whenever I upload a video. These guys absolutely know how to party. How is it going everybody? Welcome back to the Sheep Rave, otherwise known as my Let's Play, because it's always a good time. Okay, I need to get out of here. Please let me out. Oh jeez. We might be here for a minute. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, the original starter base. The one that started it all. It seems like it was just yesterday. And you know, it really hasn't even been that long. But we've moved on to other projects. Most of which have been in the nether. And that's probably where it's gonna continue being. But that being said, I do wanna continue working on this building. Just not today. But there is actually something right behind it that I wanted to show you and get your opinions on. This one is really cool. Perhaps a little bit later down the line, we should totally use this area behind the mountain as a sacred garden where we put all of our different farmables. I mean, I'm loving the idea of having some sort of structure here, a really nice garden filled with all sorts of soil and different plants, very beautiful landscaping. I think this has a lot of potential. And I'm doing exactly what I always do. I let you guys know way too in advance, and then you start talking about it in the comments, which is a good thing. Give me your ideas. We're not going to do this anytime soon, but we'll definitely be getting to it. Today, though, we're actually, apart from looking at how to get netherite the most efficiently, we're going to go over probably some of the coolest plans that we've got in this Let's Play to date. So, the ultimate question. How do you get a load of netherite? Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Maybe don't do that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, by the way, I've built another tree, and that seems to be what you guys wanted, is more trees instead of the flowers. But that's for another episode. So how do you get an abundance of netherite? Well, it's certainly not by falling in the lava. Oh, oh, you know what? I forgot my pants. Let's put those on. Never want to be here without those golden pants. The first thing you're going to want to do is stare at the striders, because they are absolutely adorable. You can think and ponder at all the different hairstyles you would give them if you could cut their hair. No kidding, this is an important step. Do not miss out. Do not forget it, it's very important. But realistically, the first thing, and this is incredibly straightforward, the easiest way to get all of the netherite in Minecraft, or at least the ancient debris, is to get yourself a netherite pickaxe. Now, I know that seems a little weird because, you know, how do you actually get the netherite? Well, I'll show you. Once you've entered the nether, the first thing you're gonna want to do is dig down to layers 18 to 24, or maybe 15 to 24, I don't know, it's somewhere down in the lower layers. Think as though you were trying to find diamonds, it's pretty much going to be the same process. Now additionally, you're going to need a pickaxe with efficiency 5 and mending. Trust me, the mending is incredibly important. Now when I started this let's play, AFK fishing was not yet fixed, so unfortunately it was a little bit easier for me to get mending and efficiency 5. For you, if you're seeing this now, you would probably do it through villagers, which might take a little bit more time. But that's okay, once you've done it, all you need to do is essentially head down to this layer. We are on level 12. Now I believe 15 is actually the confirmed best layer. It has the most ancient debris. Now originally I started by doing this, but truth be told, it doesn't really work. It takes forever. You might get lucky a couple of times, but all in all, it will take a while. Now trust me, what you're about to see is chaotic, but it helps. Now, to show you this tactic, I'm actually going to need to go into spectator mode, so please hold the comments letting you know how much you don't like it, because I have to do it. Now what I've done, I decided one day to just go crazy. So I basically dug out a tunnel all the way out here, and it was there that I essentially decided to start mining like a maniac. I'm not even kidding, I absolutely had no pattern when I was mining, I just really went for it and just started mining in any direction that I wanted to point. Keep in mind, you are going to need a fire protection potion. Fortunately, it is very easy to get by bartering, and you can easily get magma cream by doing that very system as well. Now, doing this, I ran into a lot of lava pools, but I also ran into a ton of ancient debris. 
and after a while it would dig a little bit straighter and genuinely would not find anything, so I would once again go chaotic. I kid you not, this is the best way to do it. And now we're actually going to give it an example. We're going to go ahead and do it here on camera. I mean, just a little bit more of an example, you can see it actually does get pretty crazy. I mean, I'm a little bit lost at the moment, but don't worry, I will find my way back home. And then we will put this to an example. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by getting ourselves a fire resistance potion, which as you can see, I'm now in trouble because I opened the chest, but we could just block that off. This is something I built in the last episode. Make sure to check this out if you haven't already. It's a great way to easily get yourselves some bartering loot, which I've done here. We got all kinds of good stuff. But that's not the point of today's video. I also got magma cream, which of course is what you use to make fire resistance potions. Now I'm actually gonna have to make a couple of more. All right, we should be all ready to go. I had a couple laying in a couple of chests, so it's always good to be prepared. Now that being said, there is one more way to be prepared. As you know, lodestones were recently added to the game, and I've actually set my nether portal to be on there. Now I I don't know if it's broken. No, okay, it's not. That was very weird. I don't I don't know if you saw that. That was very strange. But the reason you're gonna want to do that, provided it doesn't break like I thought it did, is because you may lose your spawn. So it's very important to keep your nether portal at least in location through the compass. That being said, we are now ready to go, and I can go ahead and explain why you're going to need mending. See, the thing is, is mining netherite, or at least nether rack, is extremely easy, especially with a netherite pickaxe with efficiency five. It will eat through your durability. That being said, mending will allow you to collect the various ores that you'll find, which trust me, you'll find a lot, to get XP. It literally makes it as if it never happened. Now, I don't think you get XP from gold. Oh, you do. I guess they changed that. Well, I suppose there is no time as great as now to just go ahead and get started. Now, I might run into lava immediately. You'll kind of see how inefficient this is. I'm not really just going to show you me mining because it's kind of disorienting, as you can see. But this is basically all I do. And when I run into quartz, I grab it because I need the XP to make sure my pickaxe never breaks. And of course, the fire resistance keeps me from dying to the lava. So that being said, we can just continue on. But always make sure to keep an eye out because you definitely don't want to lose your pickaxe. Now, ideally, you would want to also have a totem of undying because you might just fall into a random lava pit right when your fire resistance potion is going off. It can be very tricky and very dangerous, but that's what it means to go looking for ancient debris. You've got to be very careful. That being said, why exactly am I looking for so much ancient debris? Well, I've got a couple of building projects coming up that's going to need some netherite. Ah, the first catch of the day. It always feels good. Now, this is probably... Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. Yeah, definitely don't do what I just did. And just like that, my original fire resistance potion was about to go, so that would have been bad. But as you can see, we got our first ancient debris. Now, it's really messy. It's definitely a crazy tactic. But if done right, and if patience is given, you will find an abundance of this stuff. Hi, yes, hello, not even a couple of seconds later, and we've already found our second one. Oh, it uh, looks like we found our third and fourth. This is definitely creative mode, right. Hello, Mr. Five, how are you today? Thank you. Looks like that is all there was, but oh yeah, this is looking good. You smell that? That's what ancient debris smells like. And you know what it smells like? It's stinky because it's like really old and fossilized. I'm sorry, I really don't know what that is. You know, admittedly, sometimes when you're down here in the nether caves, you get a little bit bored and you kind of go insane, so. Yeah, just, you know, be prepared for that. <laughs> All right, I probably am going to wrap up here in just a moment, probably once we've reached 32. But I did want to say I actually found a little bit more of a refined way to do this. Now, realistically, the tactic is probably no better than doing mining tunnels. What the actual tactic is, is to use your mining speed efficiently. Now, obviously, I could technically run and do this 2 by 2 tunnel if, you know, occasionally I didn't get stopped. Actually, maybe we should uh, put some of this fire resistance on. Mmm, tasty. Tastes like hot Cheetos. All right, so, 
Basically, if you can use your mining speed efficiently and do this, then you're good. It doesn't really matter what tactic you use, as long as you're basically breaking as many blocks in a moment as you possibly can. Now, I'm not that coordinated, so that's why I go crazy like this, and I mean, even just in the time span of talking, you can see we've already gotten quite a couple of different pieces. It's really not that hard, you just want to make sure that if you're mining, you're mining as many blocks in a moment as you possibly can. And 32! That one honestly took quite a bit of time. And now, we need to head back home. This has been probably one of the craziest sessions ever, but that's okay. As you can see, the compass is pointing where I need to go, so now I basically just mine straight in, in the direction until it flips, and I'll know I'm home, and in the process, more ancient debris. You gotta love it. Home sweet home, or at least, I guess, nether sweet nether. We also got a lot of gold, which is great, so I can go ahead and get these crafted into golden ingots. These are a great source of XP, as well as just generally gold. I mean, you could basically get any item in the game that's worth getting using gold. I guess not any, you know, item, but I mean, you can easily throw this in there to give me that gold, and then Suddenly you got everything you ever wanted. Leather, you got netherite hose every now and then, iron even. It's very useful. Now judging by my fire resistance potions, which I went through three of, and I took originally one that was a three minute, all of these were eight minutes. I'd say I spent about 40 minutes mining and got 38 ancient debris. I'd say that's a pretty good haul, especially considering I also got quartz. I even repaired my pickaxe to the point where it has more XP than it did when I started. There's generally no reason why you wouldn't go mining in the nether because honestly all around it's amazing. That being said, before we head back to the overworld and wrap up, we need to spend another three hours to conclude this, staring at the Strider to make sure his hair is perfect. So now, ponder with me. What could we do to his hair? You know, I might actually change the texture and get some nice little hairdos going on. <laughs> but for now, I'd like to talk about a cool plan that I've got, and honestly, I'd like to find out if my strider here actually still works now this is probably going to be a little tricky but hopefully we'll be able to make this work or maybe not do that Let's see come on head this way buddy head this way i think he might actually just be stuck oh okay all right okay so far so good no he's definitely still floating oh yeah 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 we're just floating at this point <laughs> oh i cannot wait until they fix this bug for now, we're just gonna have to go and be dangerous, especially with all of the netherite or ancient debris that we have in our inventory, and this is not gonna be good. But basically, I've been wanting to figure out exactly what to do in these episodes to make it as appealing to you guys. I mean, obviously, this is a 1.16 exploration series. I want to explore all of the different avenues of what 1.16 has to offer so that when it officially comes out, you can re-watch this Let's Play for new ideas. That being said, I love building in the nether, and it seems like you guys enjoy it too. So I've got a really cool idea. I found an area all the way over here that has a gigantic lava lake imagine a lava lake castle we build an island and we even make it custom we have our own terrain call it our own infernal biome and have a giant castle in the middle or at least something similar to a palace that would be amazing that being said if you're on my discord feel free to build some examples at how it could look and send me photos i would love to see it definitely need some inspiration but more importantly let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in for now we're gonna head back home after all we've spent basically this entire episode here in the nether but i think that's okay i think we did a pretty good job here I'm excited to get this all turned into netherite. You know, I've got to say, after a long mining session, it is good to see the daylight. I mean, this world is absolutely magnificent compared to the nether. There's a lot of stuff I do want to build here too, so obviously it's a little bit tricky when saying we're going to build a nether fortress, but you know, I think we can do it. I think it's something that we can definitely take on. It'll definitely make the series all the more interesting. That being said, it's, uh, wait a minute. There is a cake and a book on the floor. You know what? I'm always here for a good book, but, or, well, a good cake, but the book here is a little in interesting. Thank you. Hello, neighbor. I just wanted to say thanks for building my new home. I've been looking for a safe place to stay for a while now, so trust me when I say it was. I was thrilled to see it. Enjoy the cake. Uh... Okay, don't think I have any new neighbors. Well, this is mysterious. 
Okay, so now what we need to do is get the ancient debris cooked. This is the fun part. This is when you get to just sit back and relax with a drink, some popcorn, and watch as what you've been working on for the past half hour unravels and burns and becomes scrap. Which doesn't really sound too appealing, but trust me, it's the good stuff. Well, yes, don't mind if I do. I would like 38 netherite scrap, please. And now, I'm gonna go craft it into netherite ingots, the stuff that you just gotta love at this point. I mean, honestly, it's so nice to see. Oh, wait a minute, we can't do this. We gotta do the netherite donut! That's the only way to really do it. Boom. Nine netherite ingots in one episode. Just keep in mind, it took... I guess, what was that, 36, 36 ingots or ancient debris in order to make one block of netherite. That is remarkable. But that being said, we've done it. We are one short of being able to have two blocks of netherite. That is amazing. But that being said, that is going to do it for today's episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Now, before we do go, I just want to say... I completely understand. There's been a couple of times when people have commented on my Let's Plays over the years where they've thought maybe I cheated something in. It happens to all of the different YouTubers. It is a little bit surprising that the Hermit Crafters don't necessarily get it, considering their projects are massive, but I understand. Keep in mind, guys, I am a full-time YouTuber. This is my job. I'm able to dedicate a little bit more time than some other people might not be able to, so going mining for netherite isn't really taking too much out of my day. So yeah, but I understand. I just wanted to at least make this video so that maybe some of you could understand how I'm able to do the things that I do, even though I really haven't done anything crazy in this world yet. But we will. The projects will be amazing.